It's my birthday, so I have magical birthday powers and you have to do what I say. And I say, you must like this video and click subscribe. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Hello, Professor Rosemary here and welcome to my lab. So, tragic backstory. When I was a wee lad, I attended my cousin's birthday party. When the time came, the adults brought out the birthday cake. The cake donned a luscious pink dress, adorned with edible lacing and jewellery. Atop the cake was an elegant plastic figure, flaunting her magnificent beauty in honour of the birthday girl. The cake was a princess cake. It was the coolest thing my little toddler eyes had ever seen. But alas, I was too embarrassed to ask for one because a princess cake is, well, a girl's cake. Fast forward two decades later and you know what? To heck with gender stereotypes. I am an adult now. I want princess cake. I make princess cake. And tying in with the channel's theme, I thought it's appropriate to feature one of my favourite Pokemon who already looks like a princess cake. So yeah, a daunting task but an exciting challenge. And with that said, let's get making. To get the proportions of Mega Gardevoir right, I'll have to do some foreplanning. This involves sketching out what I want the final product to look like, as well as translating that into life-size templates. With that done, our next few steps will be somewhat easier. For the cake dress, I'm using what's currently my favourite chocolate cake recipe because it's my birthday and I can do whatever I want. Yay hedonism! For a detailed recipe and instructions, head on over to this Beware Cake video where I first featured it. Anyways, I'm making 4 batches of the recipe for 4 layers of cake. For each layer, I filled an 8-inch pan and baked it at 170 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 minutes, until when we jab in a toothpick and it comes out clean. Once they're cool enough to handle, I'm using my cake leveler to give the cakes a flat top and an equal height. And what's a cake without frosting, right? Here I'm making some basic buttercream frosting by combining softened butter with powdered sugar, as well as some vanilla extract, whipping it until fluffy. Alright, with the buttercream ready, I'm simply stacking my cake layers with the buttercream in between, then shaping it into Gardevoir's gown using my template, working swiftly to avoid the cake drawing out. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm covering the whole thing in the buttercream. And now, our dress is ready to receive its princess. Oh, uh, this is awkward, but I'm referring to another princess. So for our Gardevoir princess, I'm first mixing in some CMC powder into my fondant, then colouring them into the colours I need. The CMC will help the fondant dry faster. I'm also preparing some edible glue by mixing in some CMC in hot water, then leaving it and the fondant to rest overnight for the CMC to absorb the water which will get rid of the lumps in the glue as well. To support the sculpture, I'm first making an armature out of wire and aluminum foil. This also helps to reduce the weight of our sculpture as well as helping the fondant dry faster, since it will be a thin layer instead of a solid mass. After that, I'm sculpting my fondant onto the armature, using my templates to get the proportions and shapes just right. This was a really meditative process because to get the sculpture to look its best, you would need to be really patient, slowly shaping your fondant as well as smoothing out every seam and bump. The only thing I regret was painting on the black food colouring with a brush that wasn't thin enough. But it was a little too late to turn back at that point so I just went with it.
Alright, with our princess ready, we can put the finishing touches on the cake, which includes fitting her into the cake dress, as well as layering on white fondant to finish off the gown. And with that, we are done! So there you have it, a Mega Gardevoir Princess Cake. And just a gentle reminder, I have magical birthday powers and you must like and subscribe. I know where you live. In retrospect, it's been a little over a year for me on YouTube, and I gotta say, I like this. It's a platform for me to indulge in a hobby while exploring wacky ideas, and to challenge myself in bringing my imagination to reality, all the while meeting the sweetest and most precious of people. So yeah, that's all for now. I look forward to another year with you all, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.